Hey guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review for Iron Widow by Siren J. Zhao. This is the first book in a YA sci-fi, I believe it's gonna be a duology, but it hasn't been made super clear. And this follows our main character of Zetian and takes place in a speculative world that is Chinese-inspired. So it's an incredibly misogynistic society that does not value girls and women. And in this world, they are being basically invaded by Hundens, which are a kind of like alien species. And they use mechs or like sort of Gundam, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers type mechs that are run by teams of pilots, uh, male and female, but the men are the ones that like actually navigate the ship and they end up sort of like sucking all the energy out of the women because these mechs are run by kind of like soul energy. And before the start of the novel, Zetian's older sister ends up going to be one of these like pilots and ends up being killed by one of the other pilots. And so now she is going to exact revenge on them. This was our quarterly book club pick for the Bibliothecary Book Club. Each quarter, so each three months, we do a buddy read where everyone votes on the book that they want to read, and then you read it at your own pace on Discord, and we have like little chapter sections where we talk about the book. So I really loved that for this book because there were some conflicting opinions there. If you want to join the Discord and be a part of the buddy read, I will link the Bibliothecary on the screen. So first off, we we'll talk about the world building. This, like I said, is sci-fi, but the only really sci-fi thing is the like mechs and it sort of has this like sci-fi fantasy feel to it. I would say the world building is one of the weakest points here. Um, the society, like I mentioned, is very like Chinese historical sort of inspired. Uh, so it has that sort of like sexist stuff going on and that is very fleshed out, but also like just very realistic because you sort of know what it's based on. The mechs don't have a lot of explanation. I don't really care for them to. Um, part of me sometimes is like, oh, like it would be kind of nice. No, And then part of me is like, no. They're run on soul energy, it's whatever. And they like morph into different types and stuff. I think in the second book, we're gonna get a lot more of like some of the world building stuff because there's some reveals that happen that we don't know as much about the world as we think we do originally. And there's gonna be more there. But this is a very basic sci-fi. So if you're new to sci-fi or you're intimidated by sci-fi, this is not difficult at all. It's very like hand wavy, it just happens. And like, that's fine. Next we talk about our characters. <sighs> the characters are the just, mm, perfection of this book. Our main character of Zetian is so the embodiment of female rage. She is pissed off about the way that the society is. It's so refreshing for me to read this kind of perspective because typically speaking in a lot of these really oppressive societies that are in books, you'll have the main character at least for a while, if not almost the whole series kind of being like, okay, I need to like live within the confines of the society and like I can't really do much and it's messed up but like whatever and they're very like oppressed and very run down by it which is a very valid reaction however it's very like cathartic to have a character who's like I am gonna burn this whole world down and I don't care what I have to do to do it and has the ability to do it so good I, I mean there's so many lines about like men just like using up women's bodies and things and just like the whole things about like gender and uh, the way the history is written and whatever and it, again her rage is justified and powerful and I love it. The second piece of this is that there's what you think is a love triangle and I knew this before going in so I don't believe that this is a spoiler at all that ends up being more of like a polyamorous triangle y'all. The two men that are in the other part of the triangle with her um, are also like awesome and such all a compliment to each other so the first one is a character that she's known off page for years and is sort of like a friends to lover situation they've always had a crush on each other obviously um but he was sort of like childhood friend whatever they've known each other for like three years or something at this point so they're like teenage friends um and there's more to him than you think there is but he's like very soft-spoken um and feels very proper at first and then you see that there's like more to him going on the other guy I like a little bit more because we got to see their chemistry and stuff building on page but that has more of an enemies to lovers dynamic um and he is also somebody that is very multifaceted but you don't really know at the beginning but he's more of like the tough like bad boy kind of thing but like there's more to him than that and then the two guys are kind of almost like arrivals to lovers because at first they're kind of like ooh, like we're both vying for her attention but also like we also think the other one's hot it's so good so the polyamorous thing becomes like polyamorous love running a mech amazing love to see it. There are times with this book that I do wish this would have been an adult novel, not because I wanted sex scenes or anything, but like I think some of the complexities would have been even more complex and fleshed out in more of an adult novel, and the polyamorous love triangle like triad would have been I think even stronger there, but like a chef's kiss 
I'm obsessed with them. Last, let me talk about the plot. This is a very fast pace. I read it in, I think, about two days, so like really got through it quick. There are some pacing issues where like the beginning is like a little bit slow, and then the end is so fast and wraps up in a ton of ways that we're just like bam, 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 get like a lot of twists, a lot of things like sort of left on a cliffhanger. Um, and that was like a little, there's a lot of stuff that I'm like, man, some of this doesn't quite make sense. But overall, still really liked it. Um, like I said, the pacing is probably like the weakest part of the story, the pacing and parts of the world building, but like the characters and what it's doing with themes, so good. And I, I loved that. So I gave this a four out of five stars. Not perfect, but like perfect in my feels. And I'm really looking forward to the sequel. I highly recommend you read it. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of Iron Widow. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.